This is module five, lesson 13, homework, page two. Number five, use the pictures below to complete the following statements. I see I have towel rack A, towel rack B, and towel rack C. Towel rack blank is about one half of the length of towel rack C. So I want to look carefully at the length of towel rack C and decide if towel rack A or B is about one half of that. When I look at the pictures carefully, I can see that towel rack B is about one half the length of towel rack C. Letter B. Towel rack blank is about one-third the length of towel rack C. Well, I know it can't be B because towel rack B is one-half the length of towel rack C. My only choice is towel rack A. Letter C. If towel rack C measures six feet long, then towel rack B is about blank feet long, and towel rack A is about blank feet long. So this is towel rack C and it is six feet long. I know towel rack B is one half that length. So I need to think about six dividing it in half to find the length of towel rack B. You can do that on your own. Now for towel rack C, I know my length is one third of towel rack C, or for A, excuse me. So again, I wanna think six feet divided into thirds will give me the length of A. You can fill in the blanks for towel rack B and A after you solve those division problems. Letter D. How many copies of towel rack A equal the length of towel rack C? Draw, draw a number bond to help you. I know that towel rack A equals one third of towel rack C. So if I want it to be equal to one of towel rack C, I'm going to have to copy that one third. So I have one third, two thirds, and three thirds, which gives me one whole length of letter C. Letter E. How many copies of towel rack B equal the length of towel rack C? Draw a number bond to help you. You need to look back at how we solve letter D, knowing that letter B is one half of letter C. So letter D, it took three copies. Draw a number bond to write how many copies it will take on letter E.